Hello everyone, this is System Collapse, and I'm back yet again playing Invasion. And uh, yeah, I've done a lot of work. Did a lot of work on this room. Moved my inventory system way up to, I guess, the second top floor. Uh, yeah, looks, well, I don't really care what it looks like. It's all about organization, and it's organized pretty well now. Uh, I fully set up the inventory system, so it's a uh, wall of compacting drawers with six of those inventory warehouses, uh, Ender IO inventory system extended warehouses the big ones back there I think they hold roughly 30,000 items uh, a lot they hold a lot it's like 540 stacks to the top level one um, and the drawers are just just there for things that mostly my agates and stuff that I pull constantly um, the only ones that had to with the inventory panel have to have a remote awareness is the one that's connected into the compactor drawer. The actual uh, inventory storage systems don't need them. They just need conduits set on insert. If they're on insert, then you can pull from them and it'll do its thing. I still need to add some speed upgrades because this return is slow. <laughs> I also added in this uh, vat and uh, a tank above it, just pulling into it. Just so I can automatically make nutrient distillation. So every once in a while I just need to come back, fill up this tank, and throw in some more zombie heads and sugar. And uh, that's good to go. Uh, I moved my Gen X Reborn area, which we'll be getting to very soon. Probably two episodes. We'll be able to get to that really hardcore. Uh, I made some of these powered furnaces. They're pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you real quick. Because a lot of people don't use these. And... They're actually really cool, really good. This is the room where everything was. Well, it's not here now. I still need to move that upstairs. Uh, and my atomic reconstructor. I'm trying to get everything I use a lot in one nice little tight area. So, yeah. We'll be there soon enough. Uh, let's see here. But, uh, what was I showing you? Oh, yeah, this. Let's do this. Let's grab that. And uh, if you have this clicked here, you have this auto split items off or on. If it's on, when you put them in, it automatically splits them to start smelling them for you. They're great little furnaces. I love them. Uh, move my robo surgeon area here. I'm trying to get a whole bunch of the blueprints just so I can make stuff. The bug that I was having with the battery where it wasn't showing up on the screen, that'll be fixed in the next patch. So we're going to be able to get to that really soon because Dark Osto actually just finished that patch today. I was hanging out in his channel earlier, and he gave me the good news, so we'd be able to become full cyborg and do fun cyborg things. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything for here. I added some more lanterns, of course, just so things can't spawn around here, just in case. Uh, and I switched my farms. Well, I was using hemp and corn. Hemp was great. Grew super fast, was wonderful, did all, you know, all that jazz. Corn, super slow. I tried potatoes, super slow. The only thing that can really keep up is melons. And the reason I wanted to use melons is because it can be used for both the ethanol and for the seed oil for our biodiesel bio when we do our uh, generators. Oh, why, why, why am I missing a seed? Give me one seed. There we go. That's going to bother me. Just seeing that little seed not there. I had to plant a bunch of these manually because that, they weren't... Actually, something weird's going on. I'll come back and fix these later. Uh, I had to do it manually to get the, you know, the most efficient setup. So, because uh, you want them kind of crisscross like this, just so melons can spawn in the same spot more often and more likely, just so you get kind of the max output from them. Uh, but yeah, these are producing really well. Uh, I had to make this to the assembler. And I actually already started recording this video. I recorded for about eight minutes. We made an assembler. We did that together. We had a good time. It was fun. But uh, then I looked and it wasn't actually recording. So we now have an assembler. Uh, the reason I built this assembler. Well, I did not know that in this pack, every crafter is disabled. There's no cra there's no mechanical crafter. And there's no ender IO crafter. And there's no other mods with crafters. The only crafter in this pack is this. And I need it to be able to make seats. So, because to make the seeds, which we need to make the seed oil, uh, we need to be able to craft it. So, if I'm going to be using melons. So, that is why I did that. Uh, let's get on that. Let me see here. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else we got to talk about right there. 
Uh, what we're going to get to today, though, we're going to build up our presser. Is it a presser? I always call it a presser. It's not a presser, is it? We're going to build up our squeezer and our fermenter and our refinery and hopefully a uh, diesel generator as well today and uh, get that all done so we can get some power going, some actual real power because right now our power is pretty sad and uh, I'd like to not have sad power. So <laughs> let's get to that right now. Uh, let me see here. I already made a bunch of stuff. We I went through about, it's probably close to 150 iron doing this. Uh, we're down to... I actually want to count because I'm actually horrified by the number. Uh, we're down 25 iron. 25 iron. Yeah. That's what we're down to. Anyway, I was going to do two diesel generators a day, then realized I did not have enough iron to do it. So, yeah, that's a problem. But we'll deal with it. Uh, we're going to need this. We're going to need that. Grab everything for the squeezer and the fermenter first, I guess. So we're going to need light engineering blocks. We're going to need this. We're going to need some sheet metal. Going to need some fluid pipe. Don't need that yet. Uh, I'm going to need these wooden barrels. What else am I missing? Uh, piston. Anything else? Let's get that out of my inventory for right now. And I think that's pretty much everything to build the machines anyway. Oh, scaffolds. We'll need a bunch of scaffolds. Where are my scaffolds? Oh, they're on my inventory. There we go. Uh, which way do we need to build this? I need the pipe forward, so I guess we need it like this. There we go. And I'm actually going to move that back one more block. There we go. Kind of get that there and that there. Going to do the same thing over here. There we go. Uh, I'm going to grab some of this pipe. And I'm just kind of building this from memory. You don't have to do it this way. You can look at the book. Uh, where's my book? Right there. We'll look at it in a second once I get it all built. Uh, they're pretty simple to build. Once you've done it a few times, you just kind of remember it. Especially these ones. That's a super dark night. Look how yellow that is. Let's take a look here. Oh, pitch black. Glad I'm not out in that one. But when it's uh, pitch black, it sure makes it disgusting. Grab. I'm pretty sure this goes on the east side. The, the side? Is that even English? Uh, did I build one of them? I built this one backwards, didn't I? Did I? No, that's right. Ignore me. Uh, let me think here. I need the... This is seeds. So I need the presser over here. So I believe we need these here. So let's do this. Uh, we'll put three steel fences there and a piston and oh, maybe a piston maybe not a piston a piston then I'm gonna need actually need that hammer which somehow I ended up with two but I'm not gonna worry about it wish I had the iron back though <laughs> uh, cauldrons which I actually had to make because well I went and checked the two villages that are nearby really quick Apparently I already cleared them out to all the cauldrons, so yeah. In the future, if I ever see a cauldron, I'm never, never using it. I think that's it for those. Let's check. You should be able to just hit the side block here. There you go. There's our squeezer, and there's our fer fermenter. So they're good to go. Uh, we're gonna have to link these up. So I'm gonna grab some conduit. But after today, we, we should have about 4,000 RF. Of course, about 1,000 of it's probably going to be used to run this, this, and the refinery. But that's not a big deal. Uh, once we get the second one going, which is a matter of iron, uh, and I'll be able to do that soon. Uh, once I have these up and running, I'm going to be able to see here, extract always. Uh, Get to the void resource miner, no problem. And then we'll have a steady supply of iron coming in. That should be pulling. That's doing its thing good. Well, it's not doing its thing, but it's pulling anyway. Do that, I guess. Go to insert, insert. And I guess we should extract always. There we go. And that one should be doing its thing. 
Of course, neither of them are doing anything yet, and we're going to do a temporary setup just to get them some power. Do that. Just so they start making us some diesel. So I guess we could just uh, throw that there. That there. Let's just cover this so it gets multiple connections. And do the same thing over here. Again, just temporary. There we go. And you can see, you can see in the bottom right there, there's about six lines. Because it doesn't have max, you know, the right amount of power, it's going really slow. Once it has a lot of power, it's going to go much quicker. Apparently, multiple connections doesn't matter. I thought it worked. Huh. Oh, well, we'll live. Uh, actually, I'm curious about something. Let's try that real, real quick. I want to see, do I have power conduit? Uh, here. Do I wonder if you can direct connect straight from those batteries? Because if you can, I should be able to give it a good amount of power to get us going. Uh, I've never actually tried with these batteries before, so it's kind of an experiment. Some of you are going, you already know the answer, and going, yes, you can, or no, you can't. Well, I don't know. Let's try it just like this. Just for a nice short connection. That seems to work. Well, that's at least giving it 160 RF. I, I will take that. Um, that's double what we were getting, so I'm fine with that. Nope, that's not right. Put that there. There. And that. And that one's only getting 80 for some reason. Oh, no. It jumped up to 160. There we go. At least it's making it go a little faster. They'll take more off than that. I'm not sure how much it is. I think it's about 320 each for these machines, but that's me guessing. Uh, so they're set up. They are making their ethanol and plant oil. Right now, no problem. Easy peasy. And that'll get a lot faster once I get more power. Uh, next, we need to set up the refinery. And this isn't going to be a pretty setup by any means. I'm kind of scrunched over here. <laughs> I didn't really plan this build. I just kind of did it. Uh, so it's not going to be pretty by any means. But it will get us the power we need. And that's what's important. What goes in the center? Oh, yes, 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 yes. We need two lights in the back. Then we're going to need two heavies in the front, I believe. Let's see here. Heavies, heavies. I should have a bunch. Go, because I need them. There we go. Oh, I always forget this too. This always confuses me with these scaffolds. They actually work as ladders. <laughs> so a lot of times you climb up them without even trying. Always confuses me. I think this one goes here on this one. Um, pipe, pipe, pipe. And you can go in the book and just look at all the recipes, but I, I don't want to have to do that. Just a... I remember them. If I don't remember, then I check. Every once in a while I mess up. I think that's it. Let's hit that with a hammer. Boop. And that's the block you gotta hit it on. Same as these ones, it was the side one. Uh, and you can, like I said, I should show you. Just for people who don't know, if you looked at the squeezer, it'll tell you exactly how to build it. Uh, same as the refinery, you know what I mean? It'll give you a total layout. And you can stop it and see what it looks like full built. Or you can kind of pause it as it goes. And go, hey, I want this. Oh, I want this. Or I want this level. Or that level. So you can kind of get the play-by-play. -play. Let's go here. We need to get this one power now. Let's just do this real quick. Oh, I didn't want to. What, what am I even doing? doing do it have have I not played this game before do I do I not know do this and again just temporary power to get us up and running I lost a sheet metal and I would like to have it because they're expensive hmm well I think it's gone it's probably falling into the center of the machine somewhere and I will never see it again 
we go. And we're on Raider difficulty 7 now, so definitely something we need to be aware of. Uh, is this getting power? Oh, it doesn't need power yet because we don't have anything being piped into it. We need some pipe. Let's grab this, 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 this. Should have more pipe. Yeah, I knew I made a ton of it because I was planning on setting up two of these, like I said. Well, two uh, diesel generators. There we go. Is this doing stuff now? It's getting that, it's getting that. It does not have power. That is disconcerting. Why doesn't this have power? The mobs, they're, they're, they're getting tons of hit points. I, I went out for a couple minutes there. He's looking up at, at me all willy nilly. But uh, one of the giant ones actually had 500 hit points. So they're getting really beefy. Is this not making? I don't understand why this is getting zero power. Uh, let's try it this way. I just get enough power in there to start the diesel process. There we go. Uh, so next, I'm trying to think here. I think I remember how to make this one, make the actual diesel generator, but we'll see. I need that. I need that. What else do I need? I need pipe, scaffold. Don't think I need that. Let's start with this. Uh, it's going to be off center no matter what I do, just because I built this kind of in a panic. <laughs> Back in those days, we were worried about mobs and I didn't have turrets yet. So when I built the base of this building, it's actually off center. I'm on that off center. I usually build everything on even. This one's even, so there is no center point. And these machines are all three wide, so not much I can do there. I think that's actually one too long. Let's fix that. I need some pipes down the center. The pipes are already in the front. I'm uh, going to need nine of these, I think. There we go. Then I think this goes here. Just fill that in. Then that. And I think that is the diesel generator. Let's take a look here. There we go. We got a diesel generator. So that's good. How's our oil doing? We got a decent amount of biodiesel, bio but at this power rate right now, it's not going to keep up. Uh, but we can fix that pretty quickly. Just need to get pipe some in here somehow without touching this other pipe. Guess I shouldn't have built it quite so close. So that should be getting power now. Drain in that, which is good. Okay. Let's just, this is ready to go. I just need to be able to drain the power out of that for it to be able to turn on. So let's grab, I guess a LV capacitor, not a low voltage. I made high voltage ones. There we go. High voltage. We're going to want some of these and some more high voltage. So let's just get rid of the stuff right now. Of course, get rid of the stuff I need. Grab that. We'll just use this to tap the power. We'll put. How are we going to do this? I guess we'll do this. This. Oh, I need some high voltage wire too. There we go. Grab that. Do that. Then we should be able to just link these up to the machine. So that'll be the power, the main power. I can get rid of this temp power now. Kind of just gave us our buffer for the machine. Uh, do this, do that. What do you mean? Oh, that's why. I want to go there to there. Put, get rid of you. Really like to not lose this stuff because it is redstone expensive. There we go. Put that there, put that there, and that there. Do that. 
do this. Now when I link this up, this should turn on. There we go. And these should start getting decent power. Like, look at those bars move now. Get all six of them going at once. That should be going full blown. All those are going at once. Biodiesel is way more than we need, which proves to me that I could at least this. It's producing enough to, you know, run a second diesel generator. Uh, we'll see over time if the melons are producing enough. I think they will. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of need to watch that. Yeah, this isn't really, it's all going pretty good. Going pretty good. But we now have, let's see here. It says 2.8. We're using about 1.2K of the 4K RF. But if we add in a second uh, diesel generator, it's really not going to be a problem. Because, well, we're going to be, uh, that, that power won't be used for these machines. It's already being used now, so... We'll have another, you know, about s close to 7,000 that we can use for other things. So, it is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty easy. Uh, although expensive. But it was something I wanted to do. Okay, now that we get a, you know, full-blown power source. And uh, we're good to go. Everything seems to be going pretty good here. Everything. The battery's totally backed up, <laughs> which is a good sign. Uh... And that's the great thing about diesel too. It shuts off and doesn't keep running like some power sources. Um, yeah, we're going to head out and uh, we're going to get some iron because I'm in desperate need of iron and I'm also in desperate need of levels. Uh, let's, let's, what I'm looking at. What I'm looking at is what I, here's what I want to do. Okay, so we need a powered spawner. So I need a powered spawner. That's not a big deal. Uh, I've already made the Z logic. I already, I think I already have enough vibrant for that. Anyway, not a big deal. Um, I also have a broken spawner. I just found that in the ground, you know, it was just there, a raider spawner. So I have a raider spawner. I, it was in one of the videos anyway. It's actually not far from the space where I found it. Uh, so we have a broken spawner. So I want to use that broken spawner to spawn mobs, but problem is it takes a lot of experience. Um, so, yeah, 15 levels for that. Uh, I think it takes... Is it just the 15? There's more to it than that, isn't there? Or is it just 15? It's not just 15. There's another price attack. Oh, yes, because you got to combine the spawner with this, and this takes 30. So that's a total of 45 levels, uh, which is a serious problem. Well, I mean, it's a lot of experience, right? Uh... I mean, I could offset that a bit with experience obelisk, but right now what I need is iron and experience. It doesn't matter how much it's going to take in the end for the experience. Uh, I need it now. So we're going to head out for a bit. And we're going to do a little search for iron. Going to go on a little hike. Look at the destroyed countryside. Oh, I'd really rather not fight the creeper. Okay, he's dead. Not that big a deal then. These guys actually aren't that bad, the, the, the dinosaurs. I'm actually almost go out of my way to fight them. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, the, they're not that bad. The creepers, I swear, they do more damage than anything. Uh, and the drones are the ones that do uh, the most damage to your base, I find. As long as you have defenses. I guess the TNT guys probably trash your base, but... We've got those under control. You're going to have to go away, sir. I just want all the experiences. Let's go uh, up here. Grab this. I'd like to find some beacons. Beacons are probably the easiest source of uh, iron for us. There should be a bunch over here because I don't think I grabbed many beacons over this way yet. So there's always that. Oh, there's a rat. Always my first target. Okay, and uh, I should say too, the first mob that I really want to set up the powered spawner <laughs> is actually, uh, I, I was thinking myself, anyway, uh, iron golems. I thought maybe that it would be a way of getting both experience and lots of iron really easy in a nice little cheap manner. Uh, <laughs> see how it goes. Because we can get the jack lanterns very easily. That they're not a problem at all. Uh, where? Okay. 
So that is something that I, I was thinking. I thought thought that might be, you know, pretty cool and a pretty sweet idea. But uh, just need to get all the stuff. We're going to need what? What is iron golem? Four, four iron blocks. So there's 36 for there. Plus we need some for electrical steel because I think I'm out. Plus a couple other. I mean, we need, we need a little bit of iron. So kind of just working on that while we're out. Every dinosaur bit we get, by the way, is another ch you know sooner that we're going to get a dinosaur in the future which is something i'm kind of looking forward to i really want to get a dinosaur gonna be fun oh i should mention too a mod there's a mod being removed from this pack uh the flight simulator mod apparently there has all of some really bad crash bugs and uh the dev hasn't been responsive uh to dark Costo, i guess uh, in you know repairing it, you know it happens. People get busy with their lies, so on, so forth, etc. Uh, but if they're not responsive, he can't really do anything but take it out of the pack because he doesn't fix the mods. I mean, other people make the mods. He just you know assembles them, designs designs configs, makes so things all work together. Uh, it's not really his job to make the mods work themselves. Uh, he just makes them all, you know kind of work together and work the way he intends them to so it is a mod that will be getting taken out sadly because I was looking forward to that mod but such is the way can, can, can you go away go away sir how am I, how's my experience doing I'm still gonna need a bit more I am gonna have to build an experience obelisk just so when I am chanting things, I don't waste levels. Because uh, that is something... To, ooh. You ever see a creeper? Always kill it first. Hands down. Because they do insane damage from a distance and are very accurate. Probably grab one or two more and then be done. I mean, we've got a decent amount of iron, not a ton. Probably, well, probably about 60 or so, I'm guessing. Probably. Probably around there, I'd have to guess. Oh, can you not do this to my back? There we go. Uh, got 22. I got zinc? I didn't know even know you could get zinc. Huh. Anyway, uh, I think that's the first zinc I ever found. Uh, did I put anything in this one? Thinking here, we got 20 here, so that's 40, 50, 60, almost 70 iron plus whatever's here. That's actually not that bad. That's definitely enough to get us moved on. Let me grab this, boop, and uh, I would never go in one of those towers, those things are horrible. <laughs> They're full of nothing but tons of spawners. If you want spawners, I mean, they'd probably be great. But uh, outside of that, I do not know. Uh, and you wouldn't have to go very up very far for a spawner either, mind you. Uh, but uh, other than that, they'd be pretty much horrible. But we are pretty much back to the base. Everything's going pretty sweet. I don't want you to follow me to my front door because you'll break some blocks and that's not nice and there we go we're back we're back we made it we got a good amount of iron uh yeah that was actually a pretty good run we got a lot of stuff what five of the drops tons of coal good amount of iron bits and bobs main thing is iron tons of those cans of food that I can eat and get even more iron not too bad good amount of experience of course we're gonna need some more but that's not a big deal okay I think I'm gonna end this video here so as always if you guys like this video please hit that like button if you really liked it smack that subscribe button it's much appreciated uh, I want everyone to have an absolutely good one and I will see you guys in the next video uh, later